Hey y'all, welcome to my butterfly garden. I did a little plant chomping over the weekend and I got a few things, a few things that you might find surprising. <laughs> plant hauls are the best. I have everything crammed in my little cart. We just hauled the cart out and filled it up. And there's even some thrift store finds in here. You can see the rim of something peeking out that we'll look at also. First up from the nectary is this beautiful seaside ageratum. And this beauty blooms year round. Look at the little powder puff flower clusters. <laughs> is that not adorable? So these will get one to two feet high. They like full sun. They are a Florida native. And this one is going to go into the wildflower garden. This beauty, also from the nectary, is the water pimpernel. And look at the little white flowers. This one um, is a wetland plant and it's going to go in my wetland wildflower garden. It's a Florida native. And this is the flower. Such pretty little blooms and I'll be able to see these year round. And it's new to me, new to my wildflower garden. Look at this. This is a beauty. This was a find. This is a shiny blueberry. Now you're probably wondering, blueberry, what's that have to do with a butterfly garden? Well, let me tell you, when you plant a butterfly garden, you automatically have a bird garden, a pollinator garden. I mean, they all come. But even though your focus is butterflies, you, you, you got to take care of everybody. So this beautiful little blueberry, look how little it is. I mean, look at the coloring. It's gorgeous. And the blueberries are edible too. So fabulous, fabulous addition to the butterfly garden that's also a bird garden and a pollinator garden and, and anyone else who wants to live here garden while we're talking blueberries this is a high bush blueberry another blueberry native i bought it for the same reason for the birds and now this one gets a little bit bigger it can be 8 to 12 feet um, and it likes part shade this is a meadow beauty. I got this plant, also a native, also from the nectary, because I don't have one. And you know, I'm doing a collection of different wildflowers in my wildflower garden to learn about the different wildflowers and see what they do and how pollinators react to them and see what they look like. So this one currently is not flowering, but they flower spring through fall, which is nice because I like having color more than just one and done. And it'll be fun to see what the flowers look like when it blooms. This is a deer berry. And you can see it has some little spent blooms on it. Now the reason why I'm adding this to my collection is butterfly related. It's a host to the blue spotted purple butterfly, which I have actually never seen. Um, the wild black cherry is a host to it also. But the reason why I think I've never seen one of these is because the adult butterflies like to feed on dung, <laughs> which I don't happen to have laying around unless dog poop counts and fermenting fruit, which I don't happen to have, but I can make a fermenting fruit plate and put it near the deer berry and uh, we'll see what happens because the caterpillars look so interesting and I really want to get these guys in my garden. 
And last from the nectary is one that I already have, and this is a giant ironweed. I only have one in my wildflower garden, and I just wanted another one to put beside it so it'll have more of a showing. It gets these little fuzzy purple flowers on it. I actually prefer, I think it's the narrow leaf ironweed, but you know, you gotta have both. After I went to the nectary, we went to the thrift store and I got something, which I'll show you at the end. And then we went to Peterson's. I haven't talked about going to Peterson's in too long, but some teacher friends of mine got me a gift card there. And uh, wait till I show you what I came home with. This gorgeous plant is a Mexican flame vine. It is not native and it can come up everywhere, kind of like the Maypop. Um, it's a fast grower. Butterflies love the flowers. The problem with it is it's very high maintenance as far as water. Um, I've had one of these before. I've had pictures of monarch butterflies on it and it's just a beautiful plant, but I put it in a hanging basket to keep it contained and it was just never happy. I would have to water it like two times a day and it would dry out quick. I still have that one. I've taken it out of the pot and I cut it down and it's growing back. So I'm gonna give it and this new gorgeous one um, a potting situation, kind of like what I did with my aquatic milkweed where I put it in a pot that is always gonna have access to water and swampy conditions, you might say. There are buds all over this. The last plant I got also from Peterson's Nursery is a Budlia. Now let me tell you about this. I used to have two of them. One of them died and the other one lived a good couple of years and then it died. But the flowers that it gets on it, which of course the one I brought home isn't blooming yet, um, this is what I saw the red admirals on. Like when I have red admirals in my garden, they were on this. So I wanted to get another one and here it is. It's gonna find its home. Like right now I've got it um, on one of those little potted pot stands right in my Pentis garden. I, I don't know if it'll stay there or not. That's just where it's hanging out for now. Um, but you'll be seeing this in the future. I'm gonna keep it in a pot because they can get out of hand. Although my other two that I had never did. I never had babies coming up. I never had seeds, little sprouts anywhere ever. And it was pretty big. It would lean out over the pot. So I'm so happy to have one of these in my garden again. And lastly, I'm gonna show you what I found at the thrift store. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it immediately. I had visions of what I could do with it in my garden, and it was $11.99. You know, usually thrift stores are trying to get something for under 10 bucks, but this thing was not leaving my hand. Let me show you. Look at this magnificent piece. It's huge, and it's going to be in my garden it's going to be a water piece now what is going to sit up on or exactly where it's going to end up i haven't decided yet and it'll probably move around a lot but these kind of wide shallow plates bowls de decorative bowl i don't even know what this is not really a bowl whatever it is is perfect for a water feature for butterflies and um, other insects that like water like wasps uh, anyway this look how pretty it is let me go let me go in the sunlight that's better look how pretty it is can you imagine this going to be beautiful in the garden so i'm super excited to have this i wish i would have found more oh i did find one more thing where is it? Okay, I found it. It was, it was at the Goodwill. That's for what thrift shop we went to. And you know how sometimes at the Goodwill they have new stuff? Like, I don't know how it could be new in thrift, but, but it was. And anyway, that I like, I can't talk. 
I like to go there at this time of year because they tend to have a gardening stuff and spring stuff. Some of my big giant pots that I have around my garden I got from there. And so I just wanted to go have a look and I didn't find any giant pots, but I found this. And this is another water feature and it's blue glass. So it was 10 bucks. Let's see what it looks like. Let's open it together. We didn't know this was going to be a plant haul and an unboxing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's sparkly. Oh, look, it even has a Goodwill sticker on the inside. I mean, what is that? It was sealed. Does Goodwill have products made specifically for them? Okay, so it's got a screw on base for the stand, which I'm guessing the stand is in here, but we're going to go look at this in the sunlight because it's beautiful. Now I'm like, well, I should have got two. I should have got two. I feel funny. We're looking at something beautiful and it's still got tags on it. But look at it in the sun. Oh my goodness. Great find at the Goodwill. I love it. So now you know it's that time to tap the like button and subscribe to my channel. Join the Milkweed crew. Bye. See you in the next one.